Hey all and welcome back to this week's tutorial. Um, I just want to say a special thank you to all those that managed to complete the work submitted. It's all been absolutely fantastic. Um, I also would like, before we actually start the tutorial, I want to give a special thanks and a well done to these people. Now is my time to shine. When your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life. Doubt is all the night, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Ignite. Play the intuition upon the stars in the night that glisten. To you, they listen to me, you extend it, I wish it. When your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. When your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life. Doubt is all the night, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Doubt is all the night, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Doubt is all the night, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Ignite. Play the intuition upon the stars in the night that glisten. To you, they listen to me, you extend it, I wish it. Ignite. Play the intuition upon the stars in the night that glisten. Okay, so. This week's task, a little bit more complicated um, than usual. You would have um, received this sheet um, as a PowerPoint in Chum Homework with all the instructions you need. Now this is an artist research and we're looking at an artist called Rosalind Monks. I want you to look them up, find out all the information uh, about them, um, some factory information, some pictures of their work and so on. Um, you can do this on the computer or you can do it by hand. It is completely up to you. Uh, remember that you will need to submit this on Shovel Homework afterwards. Now the big task after you've done that research information is I want you to do a study or response um, from one of their pictures. And what that means is I want you to do a copy of one of their works and which I'm gonna choose one to do and you're more than welcome to follow along with the one that I do or you can choose your own. It is up to you, but Enjoy, good luck. So this is the picture that I want to try and attempt. Um, as you can see, it's like really complicated. So if you have larger paper, like A3, or you put two pieces together and blow it up nice and big, I would recommend it, because then you can do all those extra little pieces. But if not, you're more than welcome to like I'm going to do. I'm going to just do it on A4, and I'm going to simplify this so I can actually access the task within the time limit. But if you want to spend longer on this, that is completely up to you. Right, first thing, remember, keep your pencil shut. Oh, try to avoid a rubber, like, last, like I said in the last video. Oh, now, before we actually start, um, I'm diving straight in. I'm actually going to outline everything first. So very, very lightly. And then I want to then go back over with either a biro or a fine liner to make it stand out. If you don't have access to this, you can just do it in a pencil. But it's completely up to you. Right. So if I look at this image, I've got part of... The top part here, and then I've got, and I'm just going to do this really lightly, really quick. I've got the antennae that come up to the sides. And remember, you can just do this really lightly, really roughly, because you're going to build up over it afterwards. So this is just about trying to outline and mark roughly where everything is on that picture. So, and, and if, as you start working, which I'm likely gonna end up doing, which is I probably won't be able to draw this exactly as it is. So instead, I will end up making ever so slightly my own. I'll be changing it. So, because remember, it's a response. It doesn't have to be a perfect, perfect copy. Okay, and then that's gonna come down there and so on. Now, in the essence of time, because this is gonna take me a little bit while, and I don't want you having to watch me that entire time, which can be a little bit boring. I am going to speed this up ever so slightly okay, so you can see how I build up the images nice and quickly and how I work over the top of my drawing afterwards. So I'm just drawing out the rough lines of the wings at the moment. And then you've got the back of the bug kind of comes down like that. And then I've got the, the legs that come out and down 
and I'll put that up here. And there's a section there. The foot. And you've got one that kind of loops round up here. Now I'm I'm actually adjusting mine slightly so I can fit it on my page. Hope you guys can see this. Let me just double check. I'll zoom out a little bit. So like I said, as you as you start drawing this, if you change it ever so slightly, then so what? Okay, you can adjust it. It is a response. It is not just a perfect copy. So as long as it looks good within your drawing, then wicked. And there's a bit that comes up here. And then you've got the other arm thing. The other arm that comes up over there. Okay. So I've roughly mapped out my bug. Um, and now what I want to do is start actually adding all these patterns and techniques. Now, I'm going to start off with um, doing it very, very lightly. Uh, not very lightly, sorry. Um, I'm going to start it with, I'm going to use my fine liner. Um, and it's a very, very small tip. Then um, I'm going to speed up the video after I've done the first section so you can see. So I'm going to start with the middle and I'm going to work outwards. Rather than start on one end, just in case I mess up the proportions and I want to change anything, I can. So... I'm going to start with this middle section here, and it's got a little circle, and then it's made up of other little circles, but in a loop. So I'm going to bring that round. That's more like semicircles, and I'm going to now a lot of this will be about patience, and it's almost a bit like doodling. section here I'm going to do it round and you can see how it's starting to build up you're going to move that in an arc Bring up, bring it into the lines. And then that brings to the end. Okay, right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up so you can see how I slowly build this up, move it along.
Okay, so that is the end of um, our tour tour. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a lot of fun. It's really hard work and it does take a lot of patience and time. But I have every faith in you. Give it a go. I look forward to seeing it. Thank you.